Yes. Yes. Yes, we are right. Everything is okay now. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So maybe sing two lines of song. Hallelujah. Everybody. for the interruption when we are working with a lot of sophisticated techniques sometimes it happened you know what mistake was this is the uh, what you call the remote. remote that when I kept the cross it touched in one of the button here <laughs> that's all <laughs> which I was working on this then now only I realize it so it is okay one button <laughs> So, you know, the Lord has called me to evangelize with all the modern technology. So this is recorded. It will be uploaded in the YouTube, and tomorrow you can all watch this. Okay, so now what we were focusing on, the healing of the family tree, we are not to focus on all the bad things happened in the past in our generation. We have to, in one, one teaching we must recognize through baptism, every baptized person is already a new creation. So in uh, St. Paul says in, Rome, uh, in Second Corinthians chapter, Second Corinthians chapter, Chapter 517, 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 517 says, the one who is in Christ, say everybody, the one who is in Christ is, in Christ. is a new creation. A new creation. The, old the old is passed away. Now, are you the one who is in Christ? Yes. Yeah. yes. So this is we have to grow into this faith. And in the baptism, what happened? Once again, I repeat for all those who have come again, I welcome Yana, she, 
whom we met yesterday night, we are very good friends for long, and she was a, she was studying with my daughter in theology. She's working uh, for uh, John Paul II's institute as well as the theology of the body in in Slovakia. We happened to meet yesterday night here, so she came. I really appreciate your coming, and uh, so. This is a very interesting subject, but this subject answer is we should know more about our baptism. This one sentence, one paragraph, 1265, in which there are seven elements are there. What are they? Baptism purifies from all sins. All sins means including our ancestral Whatever, whatever we think some ancestral influence is there, even that is removed. Do you believe this? Yes, yes. Once again I ask you, do you believe that through your baptism you are already cut off from all your ancestral influences? Yes. Believe. That's all we have to do. I was talking about the woman who had a ear problem and her mother said this is an ancestral problem. So when I told her, yes, anything? So when I said through baptism, you are already cut off. Is it so? That means you don't believe it even now. Oh, I can believe it. Yeah, then you believe it. What happened in your baptism? So when we grow up, we must believe what happened in our baptism. And she, I read out this. Now, I want you to really believe this. Number one, through my baptism, I am already cut off from all my ancestral connections. I am a new creation. Yes, I believe. And as she was saying this, suddenly her ear become completely open. <laughs> Hallelujah. So that is where the confirmatory healing take place. That's all. So, seven elements. Baptism purifies from all sins, number one. But also makes the new fight a new creature, number two. An adopted son of God. Can you imagine, have you <coughs> met any adopted children? Correct, no? When a child is adopted, suppose in a family there are two children, but they decided to adopt somebody from Mother Teresa's uh, 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 child home from Calcutta with the great fascination. I was there very, very time and uh, the sister was showing a child. That child head was double the body. Can you believe? A child whose head is double the body like this. And they were so much worried about this little child but a family came from, I think, Canada. They loved this child. They want that child. <laughs> and this sister is really, I don't know what a wonderful child it is. This family who came from Canada, they, there are about 200 children there in that uh, child home, which is kept for uh, adoption. They liked only this child, completely disabled, the head is so big, more than the body. So, and now that parents who adopt this child, what will be the future of that child? All that their inheritance will be for that child. Do you believe it? Yes. You agree with this? Yes. Is it right in your country? Yes. So we, when I when I said this, we are adopted children. So somebody, oh. We are only adopted children. Are we not real children? <laughs> so that is a language of faith. Jesus is the only son of God. And all of us are, through faith in Jesus, become brothers and sisters of Jesus and adopted children of God. So we get all the rights and merits of Jesus. That is it. Adopted son of God. Who has become, now the fourth point,
partakers of the divine nature. So when we become partaker of the divine nature, all our sinful nature is cut off. Do you believe this? Yes. yes. And fourth or fifth, member of Christ. Jesus says, I am the vine, you are all my branches. Vine, branch, member of Christ. And co here with him. So that is what we get all the rights and temple of Holy Spirit. And now, uh, since there is no time, I only read the last part from the next paragraph, 1,266, which says, the whole organism of the Christian supernatural life has its roots in baptism. Can you believe this? A Christian life is a supernatural organism. This is what we have to believe. Okay, now with this we are ready to pray. Once we believe this, uh, once we believe this, we must recognize the Holy Trinity dwelling in us, the Holy Spirit dwelling in us, Jesus, the risen Lord dwelling in us, heal us from all our ancestral ties and make us a completely new creation. So I read one more sentence from St. From Peter. See, this is, I thank God for this gift. I open and I get it. Realizing that, oh, 1 Peter, 1 Peter chapter 118. Realizing that we are ransomed from, uh, that you are ransomed from your futile contact handed on by your ancestors, not with perishable things like silver or gold, but with the precious blood of Christ as a spotless, unblemished lamb. This is the final point. Okay, now let us praise God. And you, now we are receiving this healing. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Now, I am not going to pray over you. It is not required that I pray over you. Here, what is required is you believe Jesus Christ is praying over you. <laughs> he is the high priest. He shed his blood for you. He is right within you. Do you believe Jesus is Jesus pray for you? Yes. He is the high priest. So you can maybe you can put your both hands on your heart and believe Jesus, I believe you are in me. I believe you are in me. I also believe you already set me free through the baptism, confirmation, and the Eucharist. I believe I am responsible for my own deeds and actions. I don't blame for any of the past generations. They are independent, I am independent. If the fathers have eaten the green grapes, the children's uh, tooth will be bitter, that Proverb is no more valid, the says the Lord. So therefore I believe I am responsible for my sin. Forgive me for that and set my family free and also my future generation free. They are also new creation. Now you praise God, believing Jesus is setting you free. Jesus is releasing the grace of the baptism. The baptismal grace is overflowing now. That's what you have to believe. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Shandala halabala. Oh, Holy Spirit. We can sing a song of Holy Spirit. Shala halabala, 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 halabala. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on us. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on us. Melt us, 
quietness come to quietness and focus that you Christ is in you focus Christ in you and believe and thank Jesus I thank you Jesus that you said I have come that you may have life in its abundance I believe it you have given me the abundance of life you are shared, you have, you have, you, through your incarnation, you have reconciled us with the Father. Through your passion, you cancelled our sins. Through your resurrection, you have given us new life. Through your ascension, you have taken us to the Father. We are now in heaven with the Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Heaven is not a place, but this state of perfect happiness with the Father, with the Son, with the Holy Spirit, with Blessed Mother and the same. I believe it. I am already a new creation. My past is completely gone away. I look forward for my future. The Lord has given me so many charisms and blessings to do the work of the Lord. I will proclaim your glory. Praise you, Jesus. Son, now silently, silently adore the Lord. Adore the Holy Trinity in you. Adore Jesus in you. Adore Jesus in you. Adore the Father in you. Adore the Holy Spirit in you. Father, we adore you. Lay our lives before you. How we love you. Jesus, we adore you. Lay our lives before And open your eyes. Now, can some of you say what happened? What do you? What was your feeling during this prayer? Can anybody say something? What you felt? Inner, hmm? inner peace and freedom. Inner peace and freedom. Yeah. yeah thank you. Anybody else? Yes, Emmy? It's a lighter. It's 
You feel like? Yeah. yeah. Actually, now we did it in half an hour, one hour session, you know. So when you, when we do a, when we do a little, uh, a full retreat on healing of generation or healing of family tree, we have, we have a lot more things to learn and at every time we make this type of prayer, so then we will feel a big inner liberation that something is being plucked off from us. Actually, it is not because of the fault of our ancestors. It is because of our fault that although we received the baptism, we received the newness of life, we have never understood this. We have never understood this. You see the last sentence I said, the whole organism of Christian supernatural life is rooted in baptism. The teaching of the church. How many Catholics know this? I never knew this up to my age of 40. Now I am 74 years old. And there after 34 years, I tell you, I am living a supernatural life. <laughs> Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Yes. Don't you see that I am morning to evening doing these things, then when I go home, there also I am doing. I have only a few hours to sleep, but I am living. Christian life is a supernatural organism. We keep on thinking naturally. Then we naturally think, oh, my problem is because of that man. Put the blame on that man. That is false. Amen. Ezekiel 18, 1, 2, 3, we began. Okay? Now you have any questions, I shall answer you. You are free to ask a question, please. Any doubt or any clarifications, then we will conclude here. Because if any doubt you can ask me, I have all the references here. My greatest reference is the teaching of the Holy Catholic Church. From that, I will answer you. As a new creation, brother, in the supernatural, you know, God says to us, be transformed by the renewing of your mind all the time yeah. in Christ. Yes, so every, bab every day, every, day every, hour. every Eucharistic celebration, mm -hmm. you are reinforcing it. Because every day you are in the world, the world is not yet fully holy. But we are in the world. So many stuff from the world comes in us every day. Therefore, we need every day transfiguration, every day holiness. In fact, what means transfiguration? Transformation is John Paul II's famous writing in, Rhythm, uh, in Oriental Lumen, paragraph, I think, 11, 8 or 11. He says, the man, this is the thing, the man who transfigured on the Mount Tabor will make you same like him. Have you ever thought this? We thought on the Tabor, Mount Tabor, Jesus was transfigured. But Jesus as God needs no transfiguration. He is already in the glory. So what was that glory we saw there? The human Jesus. The human Jesus, the man Jesus, was transfigured, shown the glory with which he will come again. And that is what every one of us is receiving, right in the baptism, right in the Eucharist, and at the end time. So transfiguration is a big subject to understand in this new life. We have, we, have, we have not got good... We know the teaching can be... The best teaching is from John Paul II's uh, teaching, the transfiguration. He is very much excited of this. Several places he spoke about this. We are... <laughs> and I tell you, because I am an Oriental Church person, you know, therefore I learned this. In the last sentence, paragraph of that, whenever I see a faith believer of Oriental, I will adore him, he says. Why? 
because the risen Lord who will be coming in glory is already in us. In us. Can you believe the risen Lord who will come at the end in glory and give resurrection to all is already now in a baptized Christian and the daily communicate. So he said, I will adore him. So it needs explanation. How can he say that he will adore a Christian? Because a Christian who believes in this is another Christ, transfigured Christ. Okay, now I stop talking. Now please ask, I think you want to ask something? You? Anybody? Anybody? So then let us say thanks and conclude our session. Five days retreat, I am raw, I am so happy, I am delighted, and already we have decided yesterday inspiration got that we will be having another seminar on healing of the family tree, joint program by Divine Mercy Center. Mariana and Eddie together will be organizing in the same hall a healing of five days healing of the family tree program. So today I wanted to make a small, a little taste of it. Yes. So that will be in, in, in November uh, 20 to 24, November 20 to 24. Yeah, so I invite everybody to join for this. You can also, it will be, it will be in English translated to Croatians. So it will be mainly for the more focusing for the local people, but at the same time, all English speaking people also can join. And also this is not a pilgrim time. It is a time for the local uh, yes people in this country, we will serve them in that way. Okay? Yes. So, shall we, uh, shall we make an applause and pass it? <laughs> in the sense, so, and I especially thank the organizer, that is the, uh, the whole team of the of the travelers. I really know, fall in love with the travelers for many years. Yes. Since then, we met in uh, Kildare. Kildare. She's the, uh, in Ireland. The whole church was full. Thereafter, we had several programs in Nock, two, uh, two times in Nock. And now again, we are going to have a program in Nock. So all these things is a step by step. Finally, the Lord brought us here, or Mother Mary brought us here to do something more stronger and new. So even in the morning session, we had a, a session on operation of charisms. We had only two hours talk on charisms, and I prayed over everyone. Everybody started having charisms. Wow. And they had a workshop, and everybody got several charisms. So that would be another theme which we will be doing in another time. But anyway, we have in Ireland on October 11, 12, 13, three days on Charism in Nock and in Germany immediately after this, that is 2021-22 on Gift of Prophecy. So you are all welcome for these programs and uh, and uh, Pardon? <laughs> yes, you must all come to Germany. That yes. is a wonderful country, wonderful people, wonderful place, and a lot of controversial things also happens there, so it is interesting. <laughs> okay, now. Uh, Eddie, you want to say something? Come here. You have to come here, sit here. <laughs> Thanks, Jim. <laughs> here, here, here. Please sit, sit here. Sit here. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God for what it comes. For the last five days, it's been um, absolutely powerful, very anointing. Yes. Speak on. I put the camera on. Yeah. 
You are on um, air. Yeah, pray, as I said, praise God for this wonderful five day retreat. Um, how I, I met Brother Thomas back in Ock and I was amazed by his teaching. And I knew when the opportunity came up here in Mijigori because I run, a, I run a program here for the travellers, not me, sorry. Myself and the wife and kids run a program here for the travellers. And I started back on the 13th of May. And when the opportunity came up to have Brother Thomas come to Mijigori, I took it straight away because I wanted it for the travellers. I wanted the travellers to hear his teaching on the church and on scripture and plus the healing at the end of every day so I'm going to ask Brother Thomas if you just mind to pray over the newcomers that came today that wasn't here for the last four days because you haven't been prayed over yet um, yeah. I'd like to thank Cathy and Kelly for the singing singing is a big part of any ministry so praise God for Cathy and Kelly for Carol and for everybody who turned up the last five days I said thank God again for this ministry we have now in Medjugorje to help the travellers yeah. as much as we can uh, get closer to God and any way we can help them. So praise God. Yes, Thank you. And thanks to Caleb again for putting me on the spot. Yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, I will pray over you, but it seems it is an instruction by the church here. We should not lay hands over it. So I will bring the hand up to your head and we pray, okay? So that uh, I don't, uh, uh, I obey the uh, directions of the bishop and the church here. So we will pray. So it, you know, it is. Uh, I, I, I. It's no problem whether I touch or not touch, because the blessing is done by the Lord. Yes. This is example of this centurion is very interesting. Centurion said, my, my, my servant is very seriously sick, about to die. Jesus said, I come into your home and heal him. Jesus said, and he said, no, Lord, I am not worthy that you come under my roof. You say one word from here, there my servant will be healed. Imagine. What is the basis of his statement? Send Jerome, St. John of the Cross, sorry, St. John, John uh, of Chrysostom, they all say he believed that this Jesus is not simply a son of a carpenter, he is God. And since he is God, his power is transcendent, that is beyond time and space. He don't have to move his bodily, he only have to wish, he only have to say, there it happens. And Jesus had prayed, look at that, I never found such a faith even in Israel. Okay, so what do you believe? Do you believe this? Yes. 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 So I will pray over you without touching. Okay, <laughs> come, we, may, we pray. Nevertheless, yeah, let us, let us thank and praise God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Shall we sing a song? Sing a song so that we have an anointing of the Holy Spirit. Praise you, Holy Spirit. Praise you, Holy Spirit. Praise you, Jesus. I've got to go. I've got patience to see her. So thank you so much. Thank you. I'm thank so you for coming. Delighted that you were completely pay attention. Completely <laughs> attention. I was there. Yeah. Absolutely. And you, yeah. you keep in touch. Yes, and you will. please do the exercises and give me feedback. I will really guide. Thank you. Thank you. My beloved son, I have given you a strong anointing. My anointing is in you. Open my anointing and use my anointing for the kingdom of God. I anoint you now more and more. Amen, amen, amen. So it's a very important prophecy that the Lord wants to use you for his kingdom.
So you keep, you know, make a note of that. Remember this and every day you pray, Lord, use me. Send many people may come to you to be asking for prayer and many things. Do it, okay. What's your name? Dennis. Dennis. Oh, God bless you. Yes. Come, praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Shandala alabala ulaya. Shala makara kira labura. Rabi ala makara kira labura. My beloved son, I am in you. I am fully in you. Believe that. And I will use you. I will use you for my kingdom. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. You got it? You got it? Yeah. Hallelujah. Take this note. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come, come dear. Bring the child. Oh Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Shandala Halavana. Hallelujah, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Shandala And not this child. Bless this child. Amen. Amen. Shandala Harabiala Mura. Kiria Lamara Kira Lamura Kira Makara Makara Makara. My beloved daughter, I am pleased with you. I bless you. You will have more children. I bless you. God Halamakura Kira. I bless you. Amen. Amen. You heard it? <laughs> Hallelujah. Twenty more. <laughs> <laughs> Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Shandala Alabala Alabala Alabala. Shandala Alabala 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 Intercede for the world, intercede for the family, and your prayer will be very fruitful. Amen, amen, amen. Praise the Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Shandala halabala halabala halabala. Shala halabala labula 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 labura. Hiria labura kira makara mikira laba. My beloved daughter, I have given you my anointing. I choose you. I choose you to do my work in the kingdom. I choose you to do the work in the kingdom. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Shandala halabala. Shia la marakira la bura. Shala mikira la bura mikira. Shiria la bara mikira la bura. My beloved child, I have anointed you with multiple charisms, multiple gifts. I will use you for my kingdom. Amen. 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 Praise you, Jesus. Shandala halabala, 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 halabala. Shara makira makura labia labankara. My beloved son, I have called you by name. I have called you. I have chosen you. You are a chosen one. You are a chosen one. Amen. Amen. Chosen. Praise the Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Shandala Alabala. Labia Lamara. Labia Lamara. Kira Labia Lamara. Kira Labia Lamara. I bless you with great anointing. I open my anointing in you. I give you wisdom. New wisdom. New wisdom. Amen. 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 Shala halabala, 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 halabala. Shala malami alamura kira bakara bakara bakara. My beloved son, I have given you my own hands. I have given you my own hands. I empower you with my own hands. Amen, amen, amen. 
My beloved child, I bless you. I bless you with the new wisdom. I bless you with the new wisdom. I bless you with the new wisdom. Amen. Amen. You are a blessing. You are a blessing. Through you, many will be turned to God. Through you, many will be turned to God. Amen. You heard it? Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. My beloved daughter, I have given you the graces, many graces. Use them so you will be more powerful. I give you full confidence, full confidence. I give you more confidence. Amen, 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 amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. We pray for a strong now to release Praise. his talk. Eh? To release his voice now. Watch, watch. I believe that Shandala. Open his tongue. Open the voice, Lord. Thank you. Open his voice. Efata. Praise the Lord. Amen. Open his talk. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Who is this? It's my brother and my sister. They are fighting for me. No. They are not fighting up yet. They're Praise the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Oh, bless them, Lord. Bless them, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Bless them, Lord, to get a child. Heal them, Lord. Where are they? Here in the UK. 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 Where in UK? Middle 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 my beloved son, I have chosen you. I have chosen you. Says the Lord. Write it down somewhere. What is that? I have chosen you. Okay? No, no, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. No, I mean, we we'll leave from here at 8 o'clock. Yes. Yeah. So, um, you want when to? would you be free to do that? Yeah, yeah. When? Anytime. You bring her, I will, will be around here. Where are you? We will be, you check with him where we'll be. Where's he going to be there? Um, just around here. What do you want him to meet someone or something? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. We can, I can bring him to you. What do you want? What do you want to meet him? Ah, I'll text you, sure. Text me and I can bring yeah. him to you. Yeah. Okay. She will arrange a time and I bring him up. Okay, yeah. that'll do. Perfect. Like this. Yeah, so okay, I, drop, I drop him off to you then when he's finished, you can ring me and I'll okay. collect him. Okay, give me a second. Praise the Lord. What? Did Vidya wrote you? She already she did. She yeah. Did. <laughs> okay, superb. let me pray for you. Okay. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Bless her, Lord. Bless her. Now, it, uh, it, uh, what, what comes into me is a gift of thanks in a prophecy, okay? So, I don't know. After that, the interpretation will come. That's it. Eh? So that you believe the Lord is speaking. Because it's not 
it is not uh, by chance that we got to meet here in this holy place. There is some reason. Nobody meet me without a reason. So I'm so happy that we met. Now let us pray, oh Lord. I especially pray for Diana with the intercession of our dear beloved Pope, John Paul II. My beloved child, I have given you a lot of blessing. I will surely bless you. I will give you the blessing to have marriage and children. I bless you for that, says the Lord. And believe it. You will be used for the kingdom of God, particularly in John Paul II's teachings on the theology of the body. I appreciate what you are doing, but do it more and more. I anoint you to open more horizons. I anoint you to open more horizons. I anoint you to open more horizons. Many times the same thing. Not only focus on the theology of the body, but focus also on the renewal of the persons in your country. Organize more other retreats which can be for the common man. I bless you for that. I anoint you for that. Amen. 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 So we keep in touch, okay? Yep. And yeah. No, no, tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, around 8 to wait a minute. Let me put off the system. So, my dear friends, we also pray for all those who are watching in the online. We pray for all those who are watching in the online. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We pray for all those who are watching online. This, I bless you. I bless you from this holy place of Medjugorje. Let us all together say, Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with blessed are you, my human blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. <laughs> holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in his now and our of our death. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you.